including and excluding JBoss modules. I'm going to show you how to include and exclude modules from JBoss by using metadata in your application. Before I do that, I'm going to introduce you to the concept of module versioning. Let's start by looking at the JSF import module. In this directory, you can see there's two subdirectories, a main and a 1.2. If we have a look at the main directory and the module.xml file which describes the module, we can see that it includes version 2.1.7 of the JSF JAS. So if we go back to the previous directory and have a look at the folder 1.2, we can see that in its module XML file, it includes versions 1.2 of the JSF JAS. If we go back to the implicit modules dependency page, we can see that when we deploy a war, we automatically get a dependency on the com sun JSF impl module. So I've got an application here which uses JSF 1.2. And if I try and deploy this to the server without making any changes or adding any metadata, I can see that when it starts up, it throws some errors. The exact error that it throws is this one. Could not find factory application factory. This is because it's trying to use JSF 2 when I've written my application for JSF 1.2. The way to get around that is to include some application metadata. And you can see that I've excluded two modules from being loaded by the application server, the JSF impl and one of its dependencies. I've also included an explicit dependency on version 1.2 of these modules. Now if I copy this JBoss deployment structure XML file into my application, note that because it is a WAR file, the JBoss deployment structure XML has to go into the webinf directory. If this was an ear file, it'll have to go into the meta inf directory of the root. This time, pick up the JBoss deployment XML file and it'll exclude its default JSF impl class and include the 1.2 version as I've explicitly declared. You can see that my application was deployed successfully this time. So that's how to include and exclude module dependencies using JBoss.